while since I put in a video about some of the pickups I've uh, picked up. But uh, these are going to be from uh, August of 2023. Uh, a lot from Goodwill. Really wasn't really much for tag sales this time. But yeah, I got a lot from Goodwill, some uh, tag sale stuff. And uh, I'm going to start off with some stuff from my local Hamilton book. Enjoy. And this is my small order from Hamilton Books. And yes, Fall Village, Connecticut. That's fairly close to me. So let's see what I got this time. Uh, there's something in here that I'm kind of excited about. And these, these arcs, or so they're called, always have, like, unique packaging. Always kind of like how it's like just one piece of cardboard. So, let's crack open the egg. See what we have this time. Yeah, there, they really didn't have much new things this time, so I got a few old things I was holding on about. So to, to start out with, I got a open 24 hours. And I like the way the, sl the slipcover looks. It's a uh, four digital media. Oh, uh, well, slipcover splitting. A little glue will fix that. So, horror movie looks pretty good. I'll s stack them over there on my uh, my old Atari there, and then this been holding off a while. Bloodshot, and then this I'm kind of excited to see this Slenderman. Wonder how well they got it from the uh, original source material. And then uh. I think I have, now I have all the Puppet Master movies again, uh, with Dr. Death. Uh, no, I don't, there's some, uh, something the Iron Cross, that's, that's one I don't have. But the Doctor is insane. Yeah, the, the Puppet Master movies are, they're always kind of fun. And... Region free. Hey, is it surround sound? That doesn't matter. Then uh, this is one of the newer ones, Phoenix Forgotten. Just shocking untold true events. Look at uh, also good. So this is the one I was excited sight. Stop motion with Junkhead, which I think this took seven years to make. Uh, I also want to get Mad God. Maybe I'll get that for my birthday. But I really like stop motion. We really don't see much of that. And a Hamilton book has this for... I think, I think it was $15. Let me double check the receipt. Junkhead, yeah, was $14.95. So if you want this... I don't know if they're sold out yet, but... HamiltonBook.com You can go and get this. Shipping is $4 no matter what you get. You could get one item, it's four dollars. You could get fifty items, it's still four dollars for shipping. So that was all the Hamilton book stuff. I have some other stuff here from a tag sale. Now I go to the tag sale, they really don't have anything. They just had like a Radio Shack uh, decibel meter. But ask they that dude, are you looking for anything else? I like, get yeah, you got any movies? Hey, do we got any DVDs? Oh we got some Blu-ray. Yeah, I'll check that out. They come out with a box. A lot of them are Blu-ray 3D titles. But I got three things. Uh, it was $5 each, so 15 total. So I got the Arrow video release of Dune. And yeah, this... Yeah, that, that this is a good for $5. I also got the... The remake of Dune in 3D. And then this other one was still kind of uh, surprising. This is a UK Blu-ray release, but it's region free. 
the 3D, the Hobbit 3D motion picture trilogy with all the extended editions. So we have all three of the Hobbit movies here. So this is the Battle of the Five Armies, and these come with uh, movie part one, movie part two, and then the normal movie, and then the, appended, the appendices part 11, and the appendices part 12. And I don't know what this for rental or resale mean on here. Well, this mean not for rental or resale because it's part of the box set. Here's a desol desolation of smog. So yeah, these. So this was a steal for five dollars. Yeah, this was. Yeah, th this was a steal. Here, Hobbit Unexpected Journey, movie part one and two. On Blu-ray 3D, then the normal movie is just normal 2D. And then this, yeah, the parentheses, are, the other part will probably be with uh, Lord of the Rings, which I don't have the extended version. But yeah, five dollars each. This, this was a steal. Can't believe they actually sold it for this, but yeah, that, that was a gay price. So those will go over there. And then I went to a Goodwill. They really didn't have much. Uh, I got Gran Turismo 5 for the PlayStation 3. I have Gran Turismo 1 to 6. And a few Blu-rays. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. This is upgraded in a Blu-ray. But all these Blu-rays were $2. The game was 5 Because that Goodwill always has the games at 5 It could be a garbage Barbie game or something. Or it could be like uh, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door on the GameCube. Doesn't matter. It'd be five bucks no matter what. This is another upgrade. Cinderella one and two on Blu-ray. So this will replace the two DVDs I have. So they also had Cinderella one on Blu-ray. And the, actually, all this stuff I grabbed this DC stuff. The Lion King one and a half. This is will replace my DVD as well. And then. But before I get to the older Goodwill stuff, I'll just start with like a. I went to uh, there's a local used video game slash movie retailer in my area called Game Exchange, and I went there to get a disc resurfaced, and I also looked to see if they had something else. Uh, I only needed one more season of True Blood, so I just got uh, the complete sixth season from them. They also got Weeds Season 4 and 6. So I have Season 1 to 6 of Weeds. Uh, funny enough, the first one I got was actually Season 5. I found that a while ago, and then until recently, I haven't been finding any uh, seasons of Weeds. But uh, now I've been going, slowly getting them. Uh, then I went to a Salvation Army. I usually never go to them, because they usually don't have anything. But this time I found... Uh, the Abandoned, this is the After Dark Horror Fest, uh, the first one, this is one of the first movies, and also they got, Boogie I got Boogie Man 3, and this actually had the, a disc, two discs, it had Boogie Man 2 and 3 in there, so I got two for one on that. And they only made, the new Boogie Man movies, there's only three of them. A lot of these I'm going to watch during the Halloween this time, this year. Now, all this other stuff is all older stuff from early in August. I'll try to start with some of the more recent stuff, work my way to the oldest stuff. So, I recently... So now, they got Ben 10 Alien Swarm... Now with this, I am like finished with the Ben 10 and Ben 10 uh, Alien Force movie uh, like series and stuff. This is kind of like a tied into Alien Force. So now I pretty much got all the Ben 10 stuff except Ultimate Alien. And then this was an upgrade from the normal Blu-ray to the Blu-ray 3D of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. 
Yeah, I think this cover looks better than the other one I had. And uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but I also got this too. Then this was a, I think a Hollywood video rental I put in a normal case because the other one's kind of beat up. The cave, this is kind of reminding me of uh, like either Jaws or Tremors, more like more as a Tremors. Like the attack pack had that big uh, Tremor with the teeth coming up, which I think is from like the fourth Tremors movie. Then, this is a, that was from one Goodwill, this is from another. I got the complete seventh, and the final, which is the eighth season of Charmed. Um, the final, one of these, yeah, season seven's missing the disc five. So I have that coming in the mail. I actually got it for a half price because it was missing a disc. And when I got this, there was a lot of seasons missing a disc. They also had Roswell, but that was missing... Roswell season three, that was missing disc five, and a couple other things were. Must have all been the same owner. I have no idea what was going on. But I'm so I found the first two seasons of Charm that I had to have didn't find any, but now I'm slowly finding these. It's kinda of weird how you slowly find stuff grouped together. Like this, uh Bones season two. Uh you'll see uh, a little bit later on, I did get Bone Season 1 as well. I'm going to slowly find these now. These are going to start to appear. And I got the 2006 remake of Black Christmas, uh, Black Xmas, and uh, Whip It, which mine's not in the green case. I saw the DVD today. That was in a green case. Why isn't this in a green case? And this is the one that has a digital copy in it digital copy on disc, which are basically useless now. Then these other ones are from uh, another Goodwill. I got Bionicle 2, Legends of Metro Nui. They had Bionicle 1, but the disc looked kind of messed up, so I left it there. Uh, there's only four Bionicle movies, the original three and then Mask of Life. Then, I got a, a double pack of Balto 1 and 2. Um, as far as I know, every single DVD, DVD release of Balto is only full screen. The only way to get the widescreen version is the Blu-ray. And I know Balto 2 and 3 aren't really, the, aren't really that good, but uh, this is only a dollar, if I remember correctly. Two separate discs. Then here's the aforementioned Bones Season 1. Uh, that's not in the best shape here, but I think this is a dollar too. Then I found a standalone copy of True Lies. This does not have a Blu-ray release. Uh, it has an unofficial Mexican, an unofficial Spanish from Spain, a Blu-ray release. I was thinking from like a cable broadcast or something. And this is letterboxed, so it's not even it's not anamorphic, but. I got a standalone copy of that now. Uh, and then I got Basic Instinct 2. The R-rated version only comes in full screen. The unrated version comes in anamorphic widescreen, which is annoying. But uh, now I got Basic Instinct 1 and 2. Then I had hell. I had the first movie and the ninth movie, and now this is three to eight. The Hellraiser collection. Which is uh, an Echo Bridge release, which I usually try to stay away from. But this is only like 2 or $3. And I think I think 3 is 4x3 and one of these other ones is 4x3, but they stretch it to widescreen so it looks all weird. So with this... Oh yeah, I wrote it here. 3 is uh, 4x3... And 6 is 4x3, but then stretched to 16x9, so it looks like how everybody did 4x3 stuff when HGTVs first came out. So this disc here is, uh, I believe, well, they labeled it upside down. This has Hellraiser, Hellraiser 3 and 4, 
if you put another player like this, Hellraiser 3 and 4 are on the other side, and then when you flip it over, that has Hellraiser 5. So, did you want to play 3 first? I have it like this. Okay, that is a dual layer disc on both sides, so it's a DVD 18. Then this has the other 3. And this is another dual layer disc. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't shove all 8 on one disc, but uh, for Echo Bridge, you never know with them. And then before that, I saw two of the second and third movie at Goodwill, but I saw the Blu-ray could get cheaper, the Prophecy Collection. Now, this was originally by Echo Bridge, but this is the Paramount re-release, so they just copied what Echo Bridge did. And funny with this, uh, the prof the, when they originally did this, uh, the Prophecy 1, 3, 4, and 5 were ready, so they released... The original collection with 1, 3, 4, and 5. Then later they released the 5 movie collection and they just put 2 on its own disc. I don't know why they couldn't wait until all of them were done. And these don't look the best, but they're better than the original DVDs. So at least it's something. And then this is one I've been looking for. I finally have season 1 to 11 of The Simpsons. I just wish it wasn't the plastic head. But... Uh, what are you going to do? So you have it, and then all that. Uh, I think it's starting to split. Okay, then these are getting, like, some of the real older ones from the beginning of the month. If I could just pick them up here. Okay. Disney's Home on the Range on Blu-ray. This was an upgrade. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph on 4K. This was $2. This is an upgrade from the Blu-ray. Uh, Charmed, the complete third season. And pla loose plastic. Oh, some of these are from Savers. Okay. Yeah, the, this one's from Savers. Feast 3. They had Feast 1 and 3, but not 2. And, fun fact, Feast 1 is on Blu-ray. 2 and 3 are only on DVD, at least in the U.S. And then, also from Savers, I got the Blu-ray 3D of Monsters, Inc., which I think this cover looks a lot better than the other Blu-ray cover, because why are all the other monsters are looking through Boo's door? This is like the original DVD release where you just see Mike and Sully peeking through. When I would zoom down, you can see Boo looking at them. Real nice cover. And then uh, also, Meet the Robertsons. I think this is a rental because there's like a piece of foam in here holding the artwork. You can see a piece of foam there. and uh, You see the Video City disc and that piece of foam. See, have you ever heard of Vid Video City? I'm not sure where the 603 area code is from. That's not from around here. That also, uh, this could be from Goodwill, I'm not sure. The Three Stooges movie from, uh, what year? From 2012. That was cheap, so I got it. And then remember how I said earlier there was a disc that had to get resurfaced? Well, it's a disc that's actually worth about 20 or so dollars, and the Blu ray is stupid expensive. And that was, a uh, Dead Alive. Now, I had it resurfaced. It's a little better, but still not good. There's only $2 of Goodwill, so I could give it a shot. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera, but there is some, like, spots. You can see right, right over here as I move it. It's like... I believe the disc can be saved. You just need to do it enough. But as it is, it doesn't work. If I resurface so much, it kills the disc. It wasn't working to begin with, so... I could try to get this resurfaced again tomorrow. Hopefully, I could get it back. So... That was all the, the pickups, but there's one more thing I have that... You, that I'm kind of surprised I found it, because for some reason they were uncommon. 
Now this thing was made by uh, Phillips. It it had to be from the early to mid 2000s. And it kind of looks like it was. Can anybody tell me what this is? This is a video switch box. It's a four-way switch box that can do component video. So now I can use this for my Wii, PlayStation 2, and original Xbox. For some reason, these are hard to find. Probably because component wasn't that popular. This one is automatic switching. Uh, it was th you saw the price tag, $3. I need a 12-volt power supply here, which... I have one for something else, so I tested it, it works fine. Just need to get one dedicated for this. So you got three inputs on the back and one output. It could do component with the audio, composite with the audio, or S-video with the audio. And the way this does the auto sense it, it just looks for a video signal on either the green or the yellow or the, I would believe, the Luma. Yeah, the Luma's a brightness for S-video. So technically, you could have video left, right. You got video left, right. The thing won't really care. It'll just pass the signal through. Because I put it through manual, had the video on the blue one, and the video on the red, it went through fine. So you could jerry-rig this to basically mean uh, to make this an 8 in and 2 out. Just you know, but yeah, I'm very happy to actually have one of these finally. Before, the only thing I had to actually switch component was just the, the surround sound receiver, which only has two in. And this, Philips still actually has another website. Here's the model number. You change this model number from uh, this number from a 6 to a 5. That's the manual switched one, which you can find on eBay for like, I think, 20 bucks or something. Which I, I, I was looking and like you can't find them. But now now that I look look at the model number, oh now they're appearing for a for a reasonable price. You can get other component switch boxes. Uh like I have one here. Like this here, these this is like a cheap one you could get on Amazon. Uh it's metal. I added this rubber so it wouldn't move. But these are bad. Uh I had a set of like cables and it ripped off one of the shields here because it's not really attached to anything. These are cheap garbage things. It, they, they do work, but it's like cheap garbage. Like, spend a little more money, make a little better product. It would be good. Kind of like these cheap component cables you could get for like the PlayStation 2 or something. Make, make it a little thicker, shield it well, and it costs a few dollars more, but you actually have a decent cable. Uh, I, I don't know why they can't they cheap out on the stuff. Make it more expensive, charge more, you people actually buy it. But yeah, this vid, uh, component video selector I might give to my uh, brother-in-law. Yeah, he is my brother-in-law. He doesn't really care about video quality as much. So... Yeah, they could use... They could have the Wii and his PlayStation 2 with this cheap switch box. But, uh, well, that's it for now. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm thinking about getting a CB radio. Uh, I have a little handheld one. I already have no one model I want to get. It's the President McKinley. I would get the, the Bearcat 980 or whatever it's called from Uniden. Uh, but th that has a problem with the screen dies, and if I had something I wanted to work for like years to come, not die in a few years, so I might get that eventually. Still, very, still very happy about this. It has a nice 2000s look. I like. I like the early to mid 2000s. I just like that aesthetic. So like the GameCube, my Sony Tr Cinetron Vega. Like, just anything from around that era, I just really like the look of. Some people like the 70s or 80s. I like the I like the early to mid-2000s. That just look looks nice to me. So, yeah, I'm blabbing on long enough. 
So, uh, whatever I do the next video, I'll see you then. And next time you see me, I'm going to fix that PlayStation 2 I got. These are the screws that uh, the $3 PlayStation 2 was missing. I don't know what, why they opened up. There was nothing wrong with it. At least as far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with it. So, got the screws. Uh, 25 minutes.